Okay, so it's the 24th of June today. I've got a couple of packages here to open up, so we'll do this uh, first one. In that, and I'm gonna clean my hands because my dad, who also has COVID, grabbed that package and he doesn't wash his hands very much as much as he's supposed to. Can't I know where my brother gets it from, so yeah, I'm gonna clean my hands before he's touching that. Okay. That's the first thing I saw is as I opened it. Okay. I found that a bit funny. Now one of these came from a charity shop. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. Oh, yeah, that's it in there. So the first thing is this. So yes, yeah, it's, it's this thing from the Sarah Jane Adventures. This isn't the main reason I got it. Um, yeah, this is a bit odd. That you know, this figure can't be removed from here as well. And also, you might recognise that this type of design was also was used uh, in Tortured as well. Except as uh, something else, shall we say. Uh, yeah, this. I don't know if this works or not, but uh, I think I have one of these in the box. Brand new box. I think I do. I'm not 100% certain. But, yeah, that's not the main reason I got this. The main reason I got it was this. It's a power Dalek. Well, not just any power Dalek, it's the sound effects version, so. Yeah. It's the sound effects power Dalek. In really good condition. Um, yeah, uh, I don't have a. S my screwdrivers are all in my toolbox at the minute, but uh, yeah. I probably will. I will definitely be taking the batteries out of this. How much did I pay for this? It wasn't much. So this one was eight fifty plus eight pa three pound eighty uh, delivery. So yeah, looking at uh, twelve pound ten for that. So yeah, twelve pound ten for this. And mainly this and to get this in such good condition for that amount of money it's pretty good so yeah very happy with that on the box both what I eBay just one was eat an eBay charity shop type thing, I don't know if it's that one or this one and you'll see why I think that one was the one from the charity shop though right so there's just a box of stuff here I'm trying to juggle it on my knees First thing we got is stuff I don't care about. And it's a bunch of got to uh, sticker albums here. Whoop, these are from the Got To um, Adventures magazine. Rings there. So, yeah. 
not really fussed on them. Again, more stuff I'm not fussed on. We got a load of uh, got to party masks, roofing angels, and Dalek Sec hybrids. This I was more bothered about because I had these back in the day, and I don't know what happened to them. I noticed they like slightly come open there, but these are the Davros fingers. And I remember getting these and putting them on, and that, and uh, or Davros claws as they call it. Uh, the only problem is, is that even as a kid, I, these were not comfortable to wear because they were hard plastic and getting them in your fingers, because I have rather chunky fingers, it was harder for me actually getting fingers in there. We've got a host spinner. Spinning angel and sticker, okay. So basically a wind up weeping angel. Then we've got an B and M release from twenty thirteen, I think this was. A Supreme Dalek with a broken off plunger. So yeah, uh, obviously didn't get it uh, for this. And then I think this is the last thing. Another power Dalek. Uh, slight knock on the back there, although I might be... Yeah. Sli this one, it was harder to tell from the pictures, but isn't it? Because it looked in good condition from the photos, but they weren't the best photos. This one is not in as good of condition, but still reasonable enough condition. Oh, I see that. It's missing the bottom panel and there's one battery in there I can see is corroded. Okay, this is not as good of a deal as I thought. Yeah. Yeah, I thought this was in better condition. It's a shame because the one from the charity shop, you know, the one from the charity shop is pretty much close enough to pitch perfect condition. As I'd expect. This one, uh, not as much. Now, it might still very well work, but uh, yeah, with no bottom, with no panel anymore. Or anything. How much should I pay for this one? £12 plus £3.35. I feel a bit ripped off now. So I paid fifteen thirty-five. Yeah, mainly just to get this, this one. And I do feel a bit more ripped off with this one, so. Yeah, but. Just, just under that. Ooh. If I took that battery out, you know, it'd be fine. But, uh, yeah, that doom. God, what, what is up with this? This Dalek has clearly been dropped about a bit. At least this guy's okay. And then we've got this one, the this, this Supreme, which... I don't know, I'll keep for parts, I guess, and... The other stuff's not really, um... That fuss gone. Who knows, I might turn the Supreme into something else. Maybe down the line, but, uh... Yeah, the Supreme's had a bit of a hitting as well, I just noticed. So both of these Daleks have had a bit of a hard time, bit of a hard life. Uh, yeah, there we go people, there we go. Okay, so it's the first of uh, July today. Okay, Doctor Who Silver and Ice, which is the latest and the seventh Doctor adventures at the time of recording. Um, so new, in fact, uh, I've only had a chance to uh, listen to the first story, which is called Bad Day in Tinseltown. So, yeah, which is uh, a two-parter, which is the Cybermunk story of it. And, um, it's not bad, actually. The second half is actually better than I thought, but, uh, yeah, it's not... It's not a bad story, and it kind of fits in, this one particularly, 
uh, fits in a lot with season 24, actually, with the way it is, and also it's established as being Mel's, you know, first Cybermonk story, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's not a bad, bad little Cybermonk story, it's not anything amazing, but, yeah, not bad. Uh, the other story I've only listened to part one of so far, so I can't really uh, comment on that so far, but, um, yeah, the there we go people, um, there, there we go, so, hooray for that. Okay, so it's the 1st of August, um, I've actually had this package, I think, a couple of day, a day or two now, uh, but uh, I haven't had the time to open it until now, but I know what this will be. Yep, and I'm right. So, this is Classic Doctors, New Monsters, Volume 3. Doesn't have a number three at the side there. Ooh. But uh, yeah, so it's been years uh, since Classic Doctor's New Monsters. Yeah, they did Volume 1 and then Volume 2 came out, out you know, not ridiculously long after. And then they just kind of stopped after that. So yeah, and the monsters that they've chosen for this is um, interesting. So we've got the Mox of Balhumo. I can't remember if he's called that in this, uh, but uh, basically acts with third doctor. Then we've got, I can't remember the name of the species, but uh, it's the guy from, it's the species from before the flood, who uh, basically love being enslaved by people, by races. Acts with the fourth doctor. And then for the sixth and eighth doctor, we've both got uh, the brain crabs for both of them so yeah both of those stories feature that now I will say probably uh, my favorite story is the first one the house that Hawks built mainly because you know it's kind of like um, a very you know standardized sort of ghost story which to be honest you can see exactly where it's probably gonna go and it does but I always enjoy uh, a ghost story, you know, one of them ghost stories in a haunted, in a haunted house and that, and yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. And, uh, mm, yeah, the two um, brain crab stories, the first one together in Electric Dreams, and if I sh should wait, yeah, mm, okay, um, to be honest, I don't think it's as good as the first two. It's not as good as the first two. And to be honest, these aren't the monsters I would have chose uh, personally for this. Just, I'm surprised, um, you know, it's a bit odd that of all the monsters from the new... Because obviously the new series, apart from the Weeping Angels, there's not as many, you know, big, you know, monsters and acts choose from recognisable ones. So, yeah, and I think they kind of mostly kind of exhausted the more interesting ones in the first two box sets which is maybe why it's taking so long to do another one in the fourth one which I have already pre-ordered because I pre-ordered them together uh, that features the silence um, along with um, the brain monsters I can't remember the name of them that uh, basically they take out your brain and put theirs and your bodies uh, features them as well uh, which okay to be honest, they sound more interesting. Um, and to be honest, the Mox of whom isn't really a monster, monster because even in this, he's not, he's not a monster. He's just an alien. Basically, he's just another alien. So, yeah, calling him a monster is mm, not technically true. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to think of looks up my head other monsters that they could do. I mean, I'm surprised uh, they haven't done any. Uh, with the Trickster, the Trickster Brigade, um, I'm surprised they haven't done anything with that. Um, obviously, the Trickster and particularly the Trickster Brigade is more associated with the Sarah Jane adventures, but, you know, could do that and it could be a, way, a nice way to bring the Trickster back. Maybe we'll be in that, uh, maybe he'll pop up in that Rani spin-off. Who knows, uh, I will probably get that, possibly at some point when it does eventually come out I think next year but in terms of the monsters because 
There's some that you can't do that are obvious, like you can't do the Slitheen or the Raxacorico Valpatorians and the reason is because of continuity and stuff like that. Like if it's established that this is like a first time sort of meeting, yeah, that that's kind of why you can't do stuff like that, which is another problem. It has to be ones that, you know, aren't established guys. This is definitely the first time that the Doctor is meeting these monsters. But uh, something that I thought could be done is the Krillotine. You know, um, the doc you know, the Tenth Doctor mentions about, oh, last time I saw you, they had really long necks. You know, they look like humans were just with really long necks or something, or do something else, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's about it. I can see you know the struggle, the struggle um, with it. So, but um, yeah, uh, I'd say the first it peaks. Unfortunately for me, it peaked at the first story. Not that the other ones are bad; they were just kind of mm, okay. Like, I will say, you know, interesting. And the last one, you know, being a Charlie story, I do have a bit of a soft spot. Um, for that, so yeah, but uh, I'd I'd say if you haven't heard any of the classic Doctor's New Monsters box sets, I would say buy either Volume One or Two first. So yeah, but uh, there we go, people. There we go. Okay, so it's the eighth of August today, and in this box here, this package which had a bit of a ding on it. We have an Imperial Dalek, which does not work, as you can see, the battery leakage. I might be able to get him working. I might be able to. Depending how badly the contacts have actually rotted away, but, uh, yeah, this thing cost me, I think, about eight, nine pound? Which one of these? Yeah, not too bad. God, the dome doesn't want to move. This thing might just be completely knackered. I think what might have happened here, the dome might have snapped off at some point. I think someone's just glued it on. Wow, this is in worse condition, actually, um, than the pictures made it look. Eh. Eh, you know, we'll see what we can make of him. Because I think I only have one other one of these Project Enterprise Imperials. At least the six and a half inch ones, anyway. So yeah, we'll see what we can do with him. Something else I got. I got this from a marketplace. And this, I think, is the season 16 stroke 17. Yes, it will be. Maybe. Or is it the season 2? Season 1 is this. Hmm. It is an officially, it is one of the officially licensed ones, but, ah, here we go, they took the tag off. So yeah, there's the, the officialness of it. Fourth Doctor Scarf. Have a look at the length. We'll soon see, we'll soon see which one it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So this is the 15 stroke 16 season scarf, which I already have one, except I bought mine from Lavazi. And I think I got mine for £60, I think, because I had a coupon. I had a money off voucher for it. But normally it retails for £70. I paid £5 for this. Yep, I paid £5 from a market school, and apparently this is unused as well, which it might be. Mm. Doesn't smell used, but uh, yeah, let's put that there for now. <coughs> but uh, yeah, there, there we go. That was probably one of the biggest bargains I've ever got. Not the biggest, but one of the biggest. So yeah, very happy with that. So yeah. 